Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. Some very heavy downpours moving through this morning. Right now, some of us are getting a break, others are not. We'll get to that in just a second. First, though, fall officially starts tomorrow. Uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, actually 5.04 to be exact, but it's going to feel more like a late spring damp period here over the next several days rather than fall. You can see on live pinpoint Doppler 12, a band of showers now pushing through uh, just to the west of Providence. This will continue to push up towards uh, northeastern Rhode Island, the Attleboro's over the next couple hours, and this is very slow moving, so It'll be around through at least the early afternoon for those of us up in Woonsock at the Attleboro's. If you're along the South Shore, you're probably going to get a break from the heavy rain for most of the afternoon. There's a slight chance of a, another downpour or thunderstorm later on today, but we'll see a lull in the heavy rain for the afternoon for the most part. 70 right now in Smithfield, 71 Taunton, New Bedford 70, and 72 in Westley. Add a few degrees to these temperatures. That is about it as we go into the afternoon. Wind will not be a big deal today. In fact, the gustiest winds will be accompanied with any associated associated downpours, but again, I don't expect many of those to move through as we go into the afternoon. So there is our low of precipitation in northern Rhode Island. Once this pushes away, notice not a whole lot of activity behind this. That's why this afternoon I don't think will be wall-to-wall -wall rain or anything like that. But unfortunately, we have this big center of low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere, and that will just send wave after wave of energy here. The next major wave comes in tomorrow afternoon, and that's our next chance or next best chance to see some pretty heavy downpours. We go hour by hour, a few showers possible, even a thunderstorm this afternoon, but really I'm going to fast forward all the way through tomorrow. 7 o'clock in the morning, I think most of us just seen some fog, drizzle, mist, maybe some light showers, but look at tomorrow tomorrow afternoon, 2 o'clock, notice the yellows and the reds showing up, especially here across the South Shore and out towards northern and western Rhode Island. So it's tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow night, which we could likely see some pretty heavy rain around here. As for today, temperatures in the uh, mid-70s, 73 Charlestown, Coventry gets up to 75 degrees with some off and on showers possible. Same story here in northern Rhode Island, Burville 74, Foster 74 degrees and 73 in Johnston. And for eastern Massachusetts, we're talking about temperatures in the low 70s, 73 for Plymouth, Seekonk 75 degrees and Fall River at 74 where Little Compton will check in at 73. Not a good day to be out on the water. Visibility 1 to 3 miles in the fog and the showers high tide on the way at 347 in the afternoon. All right, taking a look at the tropics, we have Tropical Storm Ophelia. I'll get out of the way here so you can see it. And Ophelia may weaken quite a bit here over the next several days and then she could strengthen back into a hurricane by next Tuesday, of course. So too far out to really sound the alarm yet, but we'll continue to watch Ophelia very, very carefully. In the meantime, we check out the seven day future cast and you can see it's not a pretty one. Again, that heavy rain band uh, coming through tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening. Some of those uh, showers could be heavy and we could see a thunderstorm mixed in there as well. And then on Saturday, mid 70s, some off and on showers. I don't think quite as much rain as Friday. Sunday looks okay. I mean, still the chance of showers, but maybe a little bit of sunshine. Temperatures in the mid 70s. We may also pick up a break on Monday, but some showers still possible. And then we finally clear this thing out, at least right now we're forecasting to clear out all the wet weather by Wednesday afternoon, but definitely an extended wet weather streak here for the next several days, of course. So don't forget about our new iPhone app. Uh, you can find that on WPRI.com. And stay tuned here. We may have to kind of fine tune the timing here over the next several days. It's tough to time out all these showers. So mm. in the meantime, we just have to deal. Just tweak it, Pete, and make it nicer. I'll just tweak it like all this. Right. I'm, I'm trying. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks.